Hi everyone, it's Ali Cat Castle. So today I'm so excited! Why? Because we will be doing our product review of the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette! Yes! And I'm so excited because we will be doing our first impressions where we will open this together and then we will do our makeup application and then after that, I'll be telling you my final thoughts about it. So without further ado, let's begin! Let's open this box! So here's my scissors. Then we're gonna open it right here because it's taped. It's actually my very first Urban Decay palette. How about you guys? Have you uh, tried Urban Decay before? So there you go. Now we're going to slide it in. Girl, you did not cut the whole tape. It's my first time, so I'm doing my best to like open this. Oh, I need to do the other side too. Girl, you're taking so long. Girl, being a first timer is not an excuse and people are watching. Oh, let's do the other side. Girl, are you kidding me? You can't even open the box? Seriously. Oh my gosh. Hello, duh. Girl, please. Now let me show you. Girl, finally, it took you 100 years. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, so I love the packaging. It's really cute. It actually kind of like have this like embossed logo right um, on the outside. And then... Um, and then now let's open it together. There you go! Look at that! So pretty! And then um, it also has like the brushes right there. I mean, brush rather. That's like dual ended. And then, so let's do our makeup right now. Let's begin! So here she is! Look how pretty she is! She's so colorful! So what we will do is, I'll be doing two applications. I'll be doing a combination of using my fingers as well as using the brushes just so that we get to really see how it works both ways. So what I'm gonna do as well is that I'm gonna do the other eyes more on the natural side and the other side more on the dramatic side. So we have like two looks at the same time. So let's begin! So first, let's try this makeup brush that comes with it and um, I'm going to use the color ounce. And then we're gonna do it right on her brow bone. Girl! I love this color. It's not so white, it's not so cream, it's not so matte, it's not so shiny. So perfect for a base! Now, I'm going to use the other side of the brush and we will use the color Sauced. I actually put the product already right there, so let's see. Girl! This color is like a medium warm brown. So perfect as a crease color! Yeah! In other words, it's a basic safe brown! And then let's use the color Chaser. <laughs> Chaser, that's so funny. And let's put it right here. So think of a beige that has a blue undertone. So this is that color! And now let's use the color Low Blow, which is this. And let's apply it right. So this eyeshadow has a bluer undertone brown. Yes, it's not as warm as the other one. And you know what? I still haven't used my fingers. So let's try the color Lumbre right on the middle of the lid. So this color is like a reddish brick with a little bit of shimmer. Yes. And it's actually easy to apply it with the fingers! And then we're gonna use the He Devil as an eyeliner. I'm going to use the this brush. Shish McEvoy brush. And this one is a deep reddish brown! Yes! And it's perfect to line the eyes if you use like medium color browns! Ah! A perfect color for this cold season! And let's do the bottom part too. And girl, if you're a beginner at eyeliner, using a powder liner is easy and forgiving! Yeah! And then I just want to go back to the Lumbre, the one that we used with our fingers. And try to use it with a brush. And yes, Lumbre is also another good transitional color once you've laid out the foundation of your dark colors! Yeah! I can't believe how much I'm enjoying this palette. I thought this would be harder. So we already actually used like the first six colors right off the palette. Now let's try the bottom six, the darker one. So we're gonna do like more of like a smoky eye on this side. Let's start with the scorched. I think that's that would be a good one. Then we're gonna apply that right on the inner corner. And girl, if I can describe this, this one is a reddish brown that's a little bit shimmery with a bluish undertone. Yeah! And then let's do the dirty talk. 
right in the middle part of the lid. So Dirty Talk is like a shimmery reddish brown and warmer compared to Lombre. And then let's do Cayenne, which is kind of like a warm brown right on the outside. Okay, so Cayenne is like a deep reddish matte brown. There you go, perfect description. And we don't have a color yet on the crease, so let's go back using Scorched and let's apply that right on the crease. And girl, always make sure that once you do a transitional color, that it's either on the light or medium tone. Yeah! I actually think that the scorched was like too dramatic. So I wanna like blend the crease. So I'm gonna go back to some colors of what we used here. I'm going to use the color Sauced with like a bigger crease brush. And girl, if you think you commit a mistake, it's never go wrong to go back to the basics. Basics, yes! And for the sake of applying liner, let's try to do the color Ashes right here. And then let's apply that right as a liner on our top lash line. And girl, this color is like the deepest or the darkest in this palette, which is like a deep brown with a bluish undertone. And you know what? I'm still not happy with that liner as being mild. So I'm going to wet the brush with water. And then let's dip it right on to the shadow. And yes, girl, there's power in water! Yes! So if your eyeshadow is not enough, just add some water on your brush and it will make it so powerful! Yes! Girl, even in makeup, water has power! I really love that when we wet the brush because it really made it more intense. So right in the bottom lash line, I'm going to be using a combination of the amber as well as en fuego so this one has like a little bit of shimmer then this one is like more matte and yes girl that's the beauty in makeup you can mix a shimmer with matte there you go perfect combination as long as you blend them together and you know what this eye is definitely bigger compared to the other side so i just want to make them a little bit more symmetrical so i'm going to be uh, going back to the sauce, which is kind of like that perfect transitional color. And then let me just apply it right. Girl, I just realized I used that color sauce three times. There's definitely power in basics. Power of basics! I can't believe we actually used all the 12 colors right on this eye on the other eye. And I'm actually quite happy that we actually did quite like a natural eye here just for us to have an idea as well as a dramatic eye on this side. So let me just finish by putting on some lashes and then we'll put a little bit of blush and some lipstick and then I'll tell you my final thoughts after. And yes, girl, we're just cleaning the size of the eye with a moisturizer. And then we're now putting on our foundation with a sponge to basically put some definition. Yeah. And now it's eyelashes time. One eyelash on the other side and one eyelash on the other side. And yes, girl, just putting some natural blush to complement the eyes. Yes. And then putting some natural lip color, yes! And some lip gloss, ow! Oh! And girl, this is the look, what do you think? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, so if I may say, what's the overall decision with this? So I actually like put in different categories. So the first one is the price. The original price of this is $54. But guess what? I actually got it on sale. And look, I got it for like $27. It's perfect. Second, my first impression. Well, my first impression when we opened it was that I love the packaging. It also feels very heavy. And you know what they say, when a product is heavy, it feels more luxurious. So it definitely feels very luxurious. And then third, the quality. Well, the quality, it was very obvious. So once we use it, let me open it again. It actually has like 12 colors right there. And believe it or not, this makeup applicator 
believe it or not, the crease brush was actually good, as well as like the all over brush, it also was okay. So if you actually travel, these brushes, um, or this brush, if you forget your other brushes, will actually do the work for you. And then we also did a natural look here, as well as a more dramatic look on the outside. And if you are a beginner with makeup, I actually think that it's a perfect palette. And also, if you are a professional makeup artist, I definitely think that it's also very good for your makeup kit. And for me, this is my very first Urban Decay palette. I'm actually so happy and um, I'm actually definitely gonna order more. And um, all I'm gonna say is that I'm gonna give it a five stars! Yes, five stars, hooray, encore, and more Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes to come. So, if you find this helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, press the like button, as well as subscribe. It would really help my channel. And please write down in the comment section below what other products you would like me to review on. And again, this is Alicat Castle saying, Life is so short, let's just play with makeup! <laughs> so, I love you so much. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for being here! Girl, thank you! Yeah!